Hey guys, very excited today to bring you an unboxing of the new WizKids D&D Icons of the Realms Monster Menagerie 3 boosters. So, got a bunch of these and uh, we're going to start cracking them open. First one, it's got a big one in it. <laughs> we'll do the little, little ones first here. First up, we've got, it uh, looks like an elven, let's see. Trying to read it here. No, human bard. Not very bard looking, but pretty cool mini. <laughs> you guys can see that. Let's see if I can get my light up here. Paint job's pretty typical of the the D and D line from WizKids. All right. Next up, it's so like a tiefling. And this is a tiefling rogue. Nice tail. And here we've got a tiny one. Mm, whoa, it's like a little mini beholder. What is this called? Oh, it's a gazer. Tiny little beholder. <laughs> cool. Look at, you can see how small he is. Alright, now I've got this big one. Check him out. This would be a Empyrean. <laughs> he is quite large. See that? Very nice. All right, Let's set these aside. And we'll grab another box. This one has a pretty large one as well. <laughs> okay. First up, got a winged cobalt. Pretty cool. And uh, what is this? Oh, a Mezaloth demon. Nice. And here we have a deep one or a Kuta. like the man catcher it's pretty cool and the big one looks like a fire giant ooh casualty 
I'll have to glue that back on. <laughs> it's not a fire giant. It is, oh no, it is a fire giant dreadnought. Uh, wow, this, this one's about to snap off too. So we'll have to do a little repair work on these. Uh, that's how he's supposed to look. Box number three. Pretty soon we'll start getting uh, duplicates, so go a little quicker. Here we have an orc, I think. No, it's a werebear. I think I need uh, new glasses. Seems a little small for a werebear. Oh, it's a werebore. Yeah. That's more like it then. Magma Mephit. Almost looks like a really strange Sturge. Pretty cool. Oh, here's a Death Dog. Yep. <laughs> Love the Death Dog. He is cool. And looks like an ogre. Oh wow. This guy. This is an ogre. No, it's a it's a goblin hooker is the name of the miniature. Oh, I see there's a little goblin sitting here. And what appears to be a goblin with a spiked helmet on it. And then the ogre is running the little catapult that's going to launch him. So that is freaking sweet. <laughs> Love this. Awesome. Alright. Box number three. Or four. Vampire spawn. Cool. Got a bunch of those from an older set. And here we have a goblin. No, oh, oh, it's a nilbog. That is so cool. <laughs> Check him out. I was not expecting that. I haven't uh, looked at the previews uh, for this set, so this is all kind of a surprise to me. And here we have a Cobalt. Regular, regular old Cobalt. And for the big guy. Bill Joint, maybe? Mouth of Grolantor. I've never even heard of that. But it looks like he has a handful of pumpkins, maybe? <laughs> Interesting. 
I would probably use him for a hill giant. <laughs> All right, clean up a second here. Box number five. Another huge one. Okay. Here we got, what is this? Try drone. Not familiar with this one. Looks like he's got like spider with spider legs coming out of his back and uh, some big mandibles. And here we have a ooh, a new type of sturge. Much smaller than the older versions. This one's uh, quite tiny. This guy's pretty much human size, so you can see how small this is. He looks really cool, though. I like the spiral uh, flight stand. Hopefully, get a few more of those. And here we have a Modron, a Quadron, cool. and appears to be a Frost Giant. Yeah. He's pretty large. Next up, it's like a knoll. No flesh nar. Pretty cool. I like the pose. All right. And here's an Azamar. Azamar Paladin. The transparent wings. Another knoll. This is a just regular knoll. Looks like uh, same sculpt with a uh, weapon swap as the other one. And we have a stone giant. Stone giant dreamwalker. I don't care much for his head. Very uh, cone head looking. <laughs> but it's cool to have some female giants. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, box number seven. Bard, another bard. 
human bird. This one looks like a bird. A little better look, sorry. It's got the nice metallic silver guitar. And here we've got a goblin with the torch. Torch is the see-through plastic colored orange. I like him, actually. And another death dog is our first uh, first duplicate. And here is a Cyclops. Pretty nice. Stone axe. Let's see if I can find a little smaller than some of the other giants. All right, last box of brick one. And we got another big one in here. Definitely gonna be a hill giant. Gnome Wizard. He's really cool. Got the little uh, firebolt working there. And another tiny one. Another regular cobalt. And another Kuatoa. Oh, yeah, big uh, female hill giant. She is ugly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do you not want to cross her? <laughs> so there she is next to the human bard. So yeah, that was the first brick. Uh, the only duplicates we got were the Cobalt, the Kuatoa, and Death Dog. So you can never have too many Cobalts, and I don't have many Kuatoa, so that's good. And uh, definitely don't mind having an extra Death Dog. So, so far, so good. So... Alright, that'll be the end of part one, guys. I'm going to clean up a little bit, and we'll do another brick.